Oh man, this is a great time of the season when Keltha palustris, Keltha palustris, the marsh marigold is in bloom. Not to be confused with Kella palustris, C-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A. that's in the Araceae, same family as Jack in the Pulpit and other cool plants. This is Keltha palustris in the buttercup or Ranunculaceae uh, family. Keltha, C-A-L-T-H-A, you can see obviously on the name. Um, so Keltha palustris is a great plant. It grows in bottomland seeps. Oftentimes with things like, um, like uh, Carex lacustris, Lake Sedge, um, there's a Lizomachia, um, Creeping Jenny, garbage there. Uh, and anyway, this is, a, this is a great plant. So let's quickly talk about it. So, um, so beside these gorgeous yellow petal-like sepals, it's gonna have, I don't know, five, usually five, but let's look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that one's got seven, this one's got five, this one's got six, sometimes up to nine, I think, nine uh, petal-like sepals. Um, it's gonna have nine petal-like sepals. You remember that, because we're gonna talk about another plant that, um, that you're gonna have to remember, uh, five to nine, let's just say, usually five, petal-like sepals. Um, then they're brilliant yellow. Uh, however, if you put UV light on them, they, 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 they just are incredible in this like purplish blue with like these landing strips. As you can kind of see on here, you can kind of see the, the, the gorgeous, these lines. So those light up. So if you're a bumblebee or, or a bee and you're flying over, you just, you just see them yelling, hey, come and visit me, you know. Uh, the leaves are going to be kidney shaped to heart shaped, kidney shaped to heart shaped, rounded, toothed, hairless, um, alternately arranged up the hairless stem, uh, um, uh, up on the hairless stem. Um, uh, what else about this? Oh, we don't have any because it's too early in the season, but they're, they're going to have a really cool, um, a, a really cool capsules uh, that contain many seeds. And uh, we'll throw a picture up um, to show you what that looks like. So, with most most species in the Ranunculaceae, this has a, this has a, a, a plant toxin that can that can cause some serious symptoms if eaten. However, uh, people, you know. Uh, they've cooked it up and they've eaten it, trying to cook those toxins all out. Um, marsh marigold is again the common name, and uh, and being that Easter's coming up, I thought I'd mention this. So marigolds, marigolds are usually in the aster family, uh, the asteraceae, the marigolds that you get in the store. So marigold is in reference, supposedly, to uh, to it flowering around Easter as a kind of this floral accent um, to. Um, what is it to honor Mary uh, on Easter? You know, so so uh, Mary Gold, right? It's got these these gold flowers. Um, there's another there's another story about uh, that that it's from an Anglo-Saxon uh, word meaning horse blister. That the buds, these buds here, look like horse blisters. That's gross. And being that it's Easter, um, even though that one's probably more realistic. Uh, being that it's getting close to Easter, let's stick with the, this is blooming around the time of Mary, around Easter, so let's call it Marigold, Marsh Marigold, but I don't know. All right, so, and Keltha actually is derived, um, is derived from the, uh, the Greek word for, um, like, a uh, goblet, uh, and again, that could be referred to that blister-looking thing, and then palestris just means swamp. Uh, okay, so I said that this looks kind of like another plant, so there's an invasive plant called Vicaria verna, or the, the fig buttercup. Um, and that's, that's gonna have uh, three green sepals. So it'll have three, so when you flip them over, you're gonna see three green sepals. Now these are sepals, the yellow things that you're seeing here. But they're gonna have three green sepals on Ficaria, and seven to a 10 or 12, uh, I forget, yellow true petals. So not the, uh, so not these sepal-like petals. So that's one of the big differences. And they, that's also a ground cover, this isn't. Um, so anyway, this is cool, and, the, and I'm gonna stand up here so maybe we can see the habitat here. That This is the habitat, so you can see. It's a nice, kind of, there's a seep here. There's some skunk cabbage over there. The little guy is picking up a plant. Cool, marsh marigold, Celta palustris, cool plant.